What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. It is hot. And I've been needing to get another air conditioning unit for my house and I picked this one up the other day and it just so happened that they had tried to drill a hole in the bottom to drain the water out and it was supposed to hold water. But whatever, I took it apart and right here's the hole. I pulled the fins out and there's a little bit of hole inside that line where the drill bit nicked it. And I got a special way I'm going to fill this thing back up with some household stuff. I'm going to show you how you can refill a window air conditioner because everybody knows it's a sealed system. It doesn't have a fill, a fill point. There's a deal you can buy, but I'm going to show you what I use. And I'm going to see if I can patch this hole with some solder. And I'm not a professional at this. This is my first time actually trying to solder something with like this. So uh, we'll just see how it goes. Really hot without melting everything else and it should start changing colors well right here's what it looked like i stuck a piece of a coke can under there and just kind of drowned the whole line with solder like i said i'm not a professional at this but whatever it seems to be on there solid hopefully it don't leak and uh, we'll try and vacuum test it and see if it's got a leak all right, so y'all are probably wondering how I'm gonna get the Freon back in the air conditioner because it's sealed. So whatever, this is a normal old ice maker line and saddle valve, pierce saddle valve. I'm, and whatever, I'm gonna clamp it around my AC line. So the best place on this air conditioner I've found is right here on this line. Normally I put it around this filter over here, but whatever, I'm gonna take this bolt it right there to that line that way i can clamp it and pierce the hole because this is on the low side you don't want to do this on the high side okay i got my saddle valve attached on here and right here is the orifice tube so i had to go right below it so it was the best place to get to so hopefully i can screw it in and pierce the line now and have a place to put in some freon but yeah, you basically screw this in and it punches a hole. It's after you punch this, you can't ever remove this thing because there'll be a hole in the line. Hi guys, it's later in the afternoon. I'm finally made it back to finish the air conditioner job but uh whatever what i got cobbled together saddle valve i got it running to a fitting off an old vacuum pump that converts it to my ac line the low side you don't use the high side for nothing runs to my gauges and then i got my line running back to my vacuum pump so i'm gonna pull a vacuum on here and if we don't have a leak this should drop down to negative 30 psi or this is like in bars or yeah it's psi too negative one bar negative 30 psi i'll come back after that's done and i'll shut it and if it doesn't raise back up then we don't have a leak so we're good I'm on the vacuum test well as y'all can see we're still holding good vacuum with the vacuum pump turned off so that tells me that the leak is holding on vacuum pressure now if it's going to hold on output pressure because i don't know what the high side of this climbs to and that's what's going to be sitting on that soldered spot if it's going to hold so maybe if it holds up to the heat and everything like it should we should be good to go so i'm going to hook up a can and start putting r134a in here now this did call for r410a but uh you have to have a license to buy that but the internet said it is a direct replacement and this is just a wind air conditioner so i really ain't out much but some free on if it don't work so uh, we'll just give this a shot and it worked in the rv air conditioner i did last time i did the same setup same way now if my hose will stay together down here well i just got them plugged together maybe it'll work so uh, i'm gonna hook up a can and start putting free on in there all right guys i got everything hooked up over here so I went ahead and filled my yellow line from my can to my gauges with a PAG 46 air conditioner automotive oil. So there's something going back in there because I don't have the appropriate oil or the right kind of tool to put it in there. So something's better than just straight Freon because I'm pretty sure a lot of the oil did come out. 
So maybe that'll get a couple ounces back in there. But uh, whatever, I got the unit plugged in because I'm gonna get some pressure in it. I'm gonna turn it on so it will pull the low side down. I'm just hoping my hose right here will stay together. So right now I'm gonna put a little pressure. I'm opening my can down here, right here, and it should, I should hear it go through. Yeah, right there, these new cans got a safety top. So open that, the vacuum is still drawn on the unit. You wanna keep the vacuum on there, that way you don't trap no air in the system, or some air, because I don't have nitrogen to run through it, so there's still residual air in there, but not as much. But, uh, whatever, we'll open this a little bit. I hear the oil going through. I can actually see it in my glass. It's, uh, I'm just worried about this hose. This hose blows. I shut this real fast. What if I'm actually going to turn this upside down? Get liquid through. To wash the oil in there. Trying to stay below 50, 50 PSI because I don't want to blow this apart. It should just operate at 30. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and uh, see if we get some action. this holds it might be a pound it might be two pounds but if it's not enough this don't have a pressure switch so it'll freeze up if it's too low it'll actually freeze the coolant so i figured maybe one pound but right now my gauges are froze so i've let them defrost for a second Actually, trying to freeze it. Yeah, it's sucking down. She's blowing ice cold, though. The lines are actually frosty over here. Well, you can see that one's still frosty white when I'm putting it in. Okay, so that can ain't empty yet, but it is freaking ice cold. Everybody like and subscribe. And, uh, whatever.